All right, pretty wild hunt this morning. We had um, we got in kind of we got in kind of late. The sun was starting to come up. You know, we just kind of talked about it. We set up in this road right here. It was it was. We ended up we were going to go into the into the swamp, and um, we ended up setting up on this road. It was a good thing because the bird was roosted pretty much right where we were planning on going. So it worked out. Um, the bird came down from the roost, and we heard him. He was gobbling like crazy. We thought he was coming in, then he just started going back into the swamp. We he just kind of shut up. Then we kind of sat and listened, listened. Got one hot, and he was calling, and calling. So the bird came in. He was on the on the left side of the creek, and we were on the right. Um, we couldn't get him to come across the creek or come around to the other side of the road where we were at and see the decoys. moved probably 200 yards out back in the swamp and we got up on this ridge back behind us started calling he came in and he stayed probably 50 yards off from us and just gobbled gobbled hammering in there and we just shut up Kenny on the calls over here let him do his thing he was just gobbled for probably I don't know 15 20 minutes And then next thing we know, he come easing in. I saw his head. If you could kill him, kill him. Kill him right there. I want to give a shout out to Chattahoochee Game Calls. Mr. Sam, I can't thank you enough. 
If uh, y'all don't own any Chattahoochee game calls, I strongly recommend. I would throw everything out of your vest. They're just killers. They are. Um, I switched over to them, and honestly, I just used two slates from Mr. Sam, and that's all you need, really. But Bruce right here, dead turkey. <laughs>